speaking of, where is the Logi better. pen? The wrapper is uh, on. I found it. It's it's in the it's on my desk. Or oh, it's on your it's desk. Over there. I saw the wrapper on or the packaging that it came in on yeah. Gabe's desk, and I didn't see the actual pen. I was yeah, it is over it. there. I was hoping. Or I saw something that said maybe it was 2.0, but it's not. Yeah. So yeah. at this point, I don't have a pen to work on my little tablet with. Yeah, which you know, would love to reasons. test that. Yeah. yeah, which it was you know so so uh, uh, what we're getting at here is the uh, the new Lenovo Chromebook Duet Three, the smaller one, um, is using a new type of uh, display and a new type of USI standard. Um, yeah, and when we got our we got our first review unit in and pre production one pre production and the the. The pens weren't working. We were Just like, ah, me. okay, it's it's early, you right. know, whatever. The digitizer isn't <laughs> yeah. hooked up or something's not. Yeah, whatever, you know. That that kind of stuff happens with these pre-production units. We get, well, then we get in, you know, the one that we have right now that we did the most recent unboxing on the production yeah. unit. And our Penoval, you know, USI seven hundred two, our pen that we use for all kinds of stuff. Didn't it's our work. main kind of testing pen that we have around the office. Didn't it's work. One of, one of the latest USI pens on the market. Tried the HP pens. Didn't, didn't work. work. Tried. <laughs> The Lenovo pen that was in the uh, ThinkPad didn't work. Had the uh, the other Acer was still here, I think. The 514 that had the removable stylus. Tried it. Nothing. Yeah. No no stylus works. Uh, so, yeah, I, I sent a, an email to our, our contact at Lenovo. said, hey, look, for some reason our unit, uh, the stylus isn't working. Um, so we thought we just might, might have gotten a dud. We have yeah. a... Yeah. We, we, I mean, it happens. We may or may not have another one in the office. <laughs> Anywho. And, um, and we were like, I guess we could unbox that one and, yeah. and try it. I'm glad but, we didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, he got back to me and said, uh, yeah, let me look into this and see what's up. Uh, so the next morning, I get an email. He said, well, it turns out it's USI 2.0. Wait, was what? Like, <laughs> which was in the press release, but I, yeah. glanced, right. I glanced over it because it's, I'm like, oh, okay, 2.0. It's I don't universal stuff. Uh, like, couple months ago when uh, march i think it was mm-hmm. the USI yeah, 2.0. 2.0 was a thing it was oh, february right. yeah. yeah it was yeah. announced it was like hey here's the new thing it's got more levels of pressure it's got right. i don't what, what's the deal with it having more color palette what does that have to do with anything unless it's one of the ones that picks color yeah i guess i Only guess for that for reason. that and then something with the it's using nfc it's not for the wireless charging but it's using nfc for something else Maybe so I think, I think connection. Maybe so I think the, the, yeah, the wireless charging is part of the 2.0 spec. So that tells me that like the one that goes with the Dragonfly and the one on the X211 is a 2.0 stylus. I right. thought we tried the X, the one on the X2. Oh we no, have, we don't have one. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a 2.0 uh, stylus. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, and if you look up USI 2.0, the Lenovo USI Pen 2, and then the HP. I don't remember what this is called. Yeah. USI Pen Two or that, something, whatever. That came the one with that's the X211. Got the, yeah, the one that's got the the more Apple Pencil tip yeah. to it is that is certified as a 2.0 stylus. Here's where it gets murky because I, I reached out to uh, Pete Mueller, um, who is the chairman for USI, and said, "Hey, look, can you like what's going on here? What what uh, what's the difference? Are they not backwards compatible?" The answer is yes and no, um, and it's a little unfortunate because. It's USI, uh, but from what Pete said, it's just not something that they can. They they when they looked at all these different uh, ways that they were going to go about doing this, there was no way to avoid yeah. this if they wanted to move the spec forward. Yeah. And like he said, the quote that you put in your article, you know, he even says like we tried for months to yeah. try to get this. They to wanted work to do it with it could be it completely just, backwards compatible, right, just but couldn't do it. And some points, you know, like with tech, you just have to move forward and and do what you can. So here's the the way it works. Um, a USI 2.0 screen will work with most USI 1.0 pins, and USI 2.0 pins will work with 1.0 screens. Yeah. Like that stuff all works. The only problem really comes in uh, when you have in cell or on cell uh, digitizers. And so, in cell is exactly what it sounds like. It's super technical, it's above my <laughs> pay grade. But basically, uh, like on our cell phones and stuff, they they mush all of the pieces together into one layer, basically. Yeah. So you get your your touch sensor, your digitizer, your your screen bits, and everything all in one piece of a panel. Uh, most laptops um, are on cell, and so that means that the digitizer is actually over top of the screen. And so, and if it's an on cell uh, USB 2.0 compliant screen, a 1.0 pin will still work. It won't have all the features that a, a 2.0 
pen does. It's the, the in cell versus on cell is the problem. Um, and the reason it's just not showing up is that Duet is the first one that has an in cell digitizer mm-hmm. in it. Like there just aren't any other ones. And that, there might not be any more for a while. Like, and so that's why the HP X2 is not in cell. It's an on cell. So um, we were able to pick up any stylist and work with it. And, and so it, it became really strange because it was like, uh, it's, it's universal mostly. Yeah. Like it's almost all universal still. Um, and so it's, it's unfortunate because it, it wasn't like he was like, oh, well, that's the only one. And we don't know why they did that. He said, you know, there, there are going to be some uh, Chromebooks that are going to be coming with in cell screens. The idea being that you know if you can build it as one piece and you can, you can get these things as one piece, the cost goes down. You can make thinner devices with them. Good, all good benefits. Those particular devices, he told, he said they really push manufacturers. A, label it very clearly, and B, make sure you include a, a stylus. Yeah. Like, right. don't if if it's, if it's not going to work type of screen. with all these other yeah. styluses, you can't ship it without a stylus. Because Lenovo's yeah. not including theirs, are they? No, no. and so. USI can't enforce anything, and so yeah. they tell them what to do. <laughs> yeah, they're a Lenovo's standard. Lenovo's like, eh, we'll do whatever we want. Yeah. Um, I do think Lenovo should have put it clearly on the box. It's nowhere yeah. on the outside of the box. There's nothing that would indicate that your USI pin wouldn't work. Yeah, I mean, it should clearly state works with Lenovo USI pin version 2 or, or other, other USB USI 2.0. 2. 2. Yeah. Because I guarantee you in the next 30 days you will have – Amazon wow. sellers yes. selling yeah. pins to people and they they're not yeah. going to work. Yeah, and that's well, that's and, unfortunate. And, um, and I mean to be to be completely candid, you know, we had a uh, we had an ad spot that we thought was a perfect fit for that unboxing uh, with yeah. Penoval, <clears throat> and and we put out the unboxing because obviously it's it's an unboxing. We unboxed it and we're messing around with it, and then afterwards, once we're actually sitting and using it, that's when we yeah. realized that it didn't work. So we had to pull the spot off because. Yeah, we, we were sitting there confusing. advertising a Penoval pen, especially the 702, which you know is right. again is our one of our favorite USI pens that we use on, on a lot of devices. Right. And we're sitting here advertising that pen on this device where that pen's not going to work. And it was right. Like, Gosh, and and despite it. we never we never said you know this is the pen to buy right. with this device, but, but it was people, just a, a you know, bad, bad, <laughs> a bad, bad pairing. As far as brand brand integrity and yeah. our integrity, yes, we people are going to look at that and associate it with the device that you're yeah. reviewing. So it's just better for yeah. everyone to. And, just, and so, I mean, we were, you know, we were confused, and so we obviously wrote this article. Um, yep, might do, might might do another video or something just to try to help consumers understand what's going on, and that's why we're talking <laughs> about it today. It's a, yeah. it's just a, you know, it, it's a, a kind of unfortunate situation. I yeah, think it, it's it'd gonna be different if it was some random small device that's not going to sell a bunch. But this, yeah, this, this is, is a follow up to one of the most popular Chromebooks ever made. Right, so a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, uh, and again, a little bit of clarity on the yeah. on the box yeah goes a long way or if they would just included a stylus in there granted i yeah. think it would just it would have postponed this conversation yeah because we would have gotten the stylus out and be like sure. hey neat is it it's fun it's not coming with the pen loop they just sent us that one with the pen it loop. will come yeah the oh, package will comes come with, with the pen that, loop. that was the other thing it's like it's coming with a pen loop but out without the pen so then people are gonna be like oh i'm gonna grab my usi pen my my 702 and right. put it in here and use it yeah and, and look uh, at it <laughs> yeah <laughs> look at that yeah. it's a good so, storage place for I, you pen. know I, how lenovo moves forward with it um they might not do anything um they don't have to do anything no sure um, but it would it'd be nice if they you know throw out a sticker or something yeah on the box Print. um it, we've seen that with uh works with, with, works with chromebook yeah uh we've seen those stickers added to packaging you know just you know, a sticker afterwards. it's not printed on there yeah uh, add a sticker all yeah, i do is just, send just them to best buy and somebody slaps them hey, on there and the other problem is you, you, can't, go, you can't go buy that pen um yeah right that's the or, problem unavailable still or uh, are there any 2.0 nope. pens yeah, because uh, I remember the in one your that article, comes, the one that works with HP comes with that tablet. You can't they don't, go buy it. They don't sell it right now. So uh, eventually there will be more. We should, but like that's that's just super, and see if they're super problematic. On one. Uh, I imagine Penovals making one hope or so. hopefully yeah. releasing one. And so soon. that's that's like alluding to what we were talking about before, though. It's like the 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 Duet Three is a fantastic device. Like I really enjoy using it. And I've been using it at my desk now for this week. Yeah. Uh, now that we're done with the the five thirteen review. And it would be a great device to, you know, to do what I was talking about, to have in a setting to where you can just hold it in your lap and be jotting down notes and all that kind of stuff. I don't have a pen I can use with it. Like right. I haven't gotten to take notes on it. And ideally a USB or USI 
pen Sh- with that incel screen like yeah. it'd be great well, it'd be great yeah and right so there lenovo was trying to get us uh, it, one of the new pins yeah and i haven't heard anything back it, on that front it, either and you might have already said this um but what so what are the advantages obviously um i understand the technology of how it's working but are there uh, are there advantages to that incel technology like why did they put that one in this one versus the other one um again is it a manufacturing huge, is it so a, they probably have access to uh incel uh, panels yeah so that they wanted to use is for it this. a better panel necess- is it better necessarily um like I would, I would imagine closer to the surface. I was gonna so say if like, everything is integrated like that and it's right there on the surface, you would thinner, think it's yeah, probably thinner, lighter. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's hopefully more responsive, right? right. You know, because so you're, you're dealing directly that, with the sensors. I don't know that you would you would notice that at all. Yeah. I mean, we're talking fractions of a millimeter, right? Basically here, um, but it, you know, in cell technology is what's used on most mainline Android, iOS tablets, and right. phones. Like you're, the phone you're using, I guarantee is an yeah. in cell set up like the, right. all, all the stuff's in there uh, on a galaxy note um for instance or what i right. guess it'd be a, a galaxy s22 ultra now yeah. you know that that uh digitizer in there for the pin is in cell like because they're, they're phones obviously they're trying to get it as small and thin and easy to manufacture as possible and so that's hmm. that's the benefit of those why it showed up on this particular chromebook it yeah. probably was Lenovo had access to manufacture those for this device and multiple other devices. They make other tablets uh, but, of the same size. Yeah. So. I forgot that Lenovo was part of the USI 2.0 press release. Yeah. So like that they're pen. probably like, hey, you know, they're touting us. We should put it on our device. Like, ugh. When they said, like, Lenovo's latest pen and stuff mm-hmm. in the press release. And I'm like, how is that pen not yeah. available right now? Like, that's the other problem with all yeah. this. It, it's not like... Yeah, that's a bummer, but you know it's a forty dollars purchase but, to go with your tablet. It's yeah. not the worst thing in the world. You can't even go get it. So yeah. if you buy this tablet right now, you can't use a pen. Yeah, and, and what I'm getting at here is like if if there aren't um, substantial advantages to this incel technology on this why device, like why do it? Why cause this issue and all these folks that have 1.0 pens not know. being able to use them what like why do that I, and I don't, I don't think it's a money grab like i don't think it's them being like oh go, no. you no, have to I, go buy our no. pen that doesn't seem like something no I, I, they would do I, I, my guess is they had because like panels like this or panels for phones you know when when you go get your phone fixed now it's not like they take apart the glass and then they pull the digitizer out it's, and right. take the the screen. Screen. it's, it's one piece it's sure. manufactured as one thing Again, Lenovo is the largest laptop manufacturer. Mm-hmm. Uh, between their Android tablets, their Windows tablets, and their yeah. Chrome OS tablets, they make a lot of tablets. And so if at scale it was cheaper for them to do sure. in-cell technology for these USI pins, sure. of course that's what they're going to do. Yeah. Sure. Like, uh, yeah. when you, when you start Especially when they, they know the volume, yeah, because the original Duet sold so well that yeah. they were yeah. probably... And maybe, like, and maybe the plan was to get this thing out the door and be and like, have, hey, we partnered with USI for 2.0 and we're di- it's full-blown 2.0. Right. Look at this pin. And maybe something just happened. But sure. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Something's... It just stinks because there's just no answer right now for anybody who buys this. If yeah. they, they were like, hey, I bought this to take the class and take notes. Like, yeah. <laughs> Because, <Very>, <laughs> like, it would, it would be a little bit of a different story. I mean, if the pin was available. Like, that would... Yeah, that would. I mean, if we, if you could, say, and and who knows, because the duets, not, no, it is available. Oh, yeah, yeah no, it, it is. is. Yeah, alone, I mean, like bikes now. Yeah, it's sh- and and we've seen this happen many times. Like the the ten e, which is the rugged duet, the keyboard did not come out until like four months later. Yeah, and I'm not pointing yeah. a finger directly at Lenovo. Other manufacturers do it, but we see this a lot where they're like, "Hey, we've got this thing, and there's this thing that goes with it," and. Oh, don't yeah. worry about that. It, it, sometimes they never show up. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think the you know, there's a couple of things they could they could put a sticker on it. Once the pen's available, they could sell it in bundles. You but, know, yeah. for instead if the pen's fifty bucks, you know, bundle it with it for an additional the listing. Or yeah. 30. The listing is is one thing. You just buy it as a package, right? You know? Or yeah. the, the sticker on there has a, a QR code. You click it, and it takes you right to Lenovo Get site a to order if it. You, yeah, yeah. What, something. something. Yeah, uh, Acer does that all the time. You can always get on Best Buy and get an Acer Chromebook with a sleeve and a mouse. Right. Yeah. It's just a right. bundle. It's just a bundle. Just yeah. make it. Yeah. 
So yeah. there's, there's multiple ways they can go about fixing it, but until the pen's available, there's right. no ways, so, actually. So, I mean, the moral of the story for right now, if you are interested in this device, because you know, you've maybe watched our unboxing, and you're like, this thing looks great. And, and it is for the great. most part, it is. It's amazing. <laughs> I really do like but it. But just know that if you have a pen, and you're and buying it with that like specific purpose in mind, yeah. or that specific use in mind, um, you you might be waiting for a little bit to yeah. get a pen yeah. that will work. Yep, yep. Um, I mean, not it, forever. Just, it'll be this. Yeah, just, it'll be this year. But sure. And and like yeah. I said, I mean, surely Penovel, some of these other you know manufacturers are probably already working on a 2.0 pen. Yeah, and Peter hope. said there's there's a lot of them in the works. Yeah, I actually just, found if you look on the list, we're just early right yeah, now. Yeah, there's so. Lenovo, HP, and then there's that one white label maker. I can't. It's, it's Walltop. No, not uh, it might have been Walter. It's one of the bigger name ones that first came out with the OSI. They have a 2.0 now, so yeah, it's just not available yet. Yeah. But you'll see it on Amazon under whatever name. Yeah, it's it's so, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's, and it's just a bummer that I really hope that. And I guess I don't know. I guess pen makers need a way to say like this is the new version that does better stuff. Right? Like I get that, but yeah. like USI felt like it was trying to be that if you have a USI pen done and now it's like yeah. eh, it's mostly that but I guess you know eventually USI 2.0 everybody will just know like if I want the the additional features of this this or, pen type yeah. I need that 2.0 or, or, or just maybe down the road I know Peter said they were working to try to make it you know compatible across the board maybe they will down the road like maybe they'll figure out a way to make the instant well, stuff but, work but for the feature stuff they won't Yeah, like the extra features that come with 2.0 like USI 2.0 won't that they'll never be You'll never have a 1.0 pen and a 1.0 screen that can do what the 2.0 spec can yeah, do. But, uh, yeah, but yeah. So that's what I was saying. Like the, you know, it, it, there's going to be a break in this. But could no it at what. least still just like at a minimum work? Like for the incel, no. Yeah, like it won't. There's no dang. No, this will. It will never work. Um, or else they it's would. Like, have, they would have held off the spec yeah, and, sure. and and made it work. Mm. Uh, he said like they they tried it. It's just not compatible um, with the way. It had something to do with the timing. Yeah, the way the screen puts out style I don't know. like i said it's above my pay grade but yeah. he made it pretty clear like this this yeah it was unavoidable can't work so so yeah just so as more incel screens yeah. come like I, th I think the moral of the story is once usi 2.0 pens come out if your device is specced for usi 2.0 yeah, that's what you need to get yeah, you're gonna, you're and if you have a 2.0 pen. pen that pen will work on all 1.0 screens yeah. so you know ultimately as 2.0 pens come out that's just those are the pens you should go buy yeah Sure. unless you know for sure you're never going to buy one that right. needs it like yeah you're just better off it, it, it'd be like buying a if you had two hard drives or two thumb drives and you're like this one's usb 3.2 and this one's usb 2.0 will this one work sure should i buy the 3.2 after so you're after telling two? me so you're telling me there might be a, a dongle that we can put on our 1.0 pens that'll make them work <laughs> no, no. there's not a, what I said. <laughs> there's a a big extra it's just it's just an it's actually just a 2.0 pin pin <laughs> slots this in it. it's like a long That's pin perfect. dongle life hey everyone thanks for watching if uh you haven't already make sure to go down there and click subscribe click the little thumbs up next to it above ring the it. bell ring and the, the bell. bell definitely ring the bell the bell helps because it it it, it kind of it breaks the algorithm kind of breaks the algorithm yeah, a little it does. Bit. stick it to the man yeah gives you a just little kidding, notification Google. no Seriously. just gives you a little notification when we publish a video maybe yep. even leave a comment maybe leave a comment okay. yeah i think i think they should do all of these I things i like all yeah. of those things yeah do those things we appreciate it thanks for watching